Mindset is a game that helps you develop your critical thinking and problem solving skills. My first video helped explain some of the rules and regulations of Onsets. If you haven't seen it, please click up here to do so. I will demonstrate how to play the game of Onsets. Let's put it in action. Are you ready? In this demonstration, we have three players, player A, player B, and player C. Throughout the demonstration, I'm going to model as all of them and switch between each one for the purpose of it. So in the beginning, each one rolls the dice to determine who's the first goal setter. It's going to be player B since they rolled five. Player B would take all the dice. And would thoroughly roll them. The player to the right of player B, player A, is a universe setter. So player A would shuffle the cards and draw seven cards. Player B is going to set a goal now. Player B's goal is going to be four. I'm going to say goal set and the turns will begin. After the goal set, I'm going to act as player A and try to draft out some solutions. So. You need to continuously draft out solutions as the game progresses so that you're staying on top of the game and thinking of new ways of how to meet the goal as more cubes are on the mat. So right now there are no cubes on the mat and I've started to draft some solutions. The first one is blue prime prime. If you look at all the blue cards, there's four of them. And when you prime a set twice, you end up with that original set. So that would leave us with four and that's the goal. Yellow minus nothing, the null set. There are four yellow cards, and if you subtract nothing from that, you're left with four. Nothing prime minus green. Nothing prime is universe. And then when you subtract green from that, there are three green cards. And you're left with four. And then this last one I've drafted is red minus green. Prime. So red consists of five cards. And if you subtract the green cards from the red which you take away these two, you're left with a set of three cards. When you prime that, you look at anything except for these cards. So I'm gonna look at these cards because I primed it and that's four. Keep in mind for some of these solutions, it requires, me, it requires me to use the wild cubes. I just wrote it underneath the cube that it's wild. That's how you'd indicate it in a solution. After the goal's been set, the players are gonna begin moving. Keep note that after the, the one number cube or however many you use in the goal has been put, the rest of the remaining numeral cubes are not needed for the rest of the game, so you can just put in forbidden. So it's now player C's turn. Player C has two minutes to make their first move due to them being the first mover in the entire game. All other players that move in, in other turns will only receive one minute. Player C is going to move this blue into forbidden. Player A is going to move this red into required. Player B is going to move this minus sign into forbidden. Player C is going to move this prime sign into required. Player A is going to move this wild cube into forbidden. Player B is going to move the yellow into forbidden. Player C is going to move this minus sign into permitted. And then player A grabs a flood cube and calls now. Now that a challenge has been made, player A has two minutes to write a solution. Player C has been called a challenge against because they were the last mover, so they have to wait for player A. Player B is a third party because they weren't involved in any of this, so they can either choose to side with player A and write a solution, or side with player C and not write a solution. Player B chooses to side with player A and write a solution. Now the players are going to present their solutions. Technically, they would both give their solutions to player C at the same time, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to go through them one by one. Player A's solution is red minus green prime. Let's check the value first using the cards. If we take all the red cards, which are these five, and take the green cards away from them, we're left with three. Then we need to prime these three, meaning we look at all the cards without these three, and we're left with four. Now we have to check the cubes as well. Remember, in a solution, there are two main parts to check, the value and the cubes. Check both. So for this one, the red is in the required, the prime is in required, the minus sign is in permitted, 
And although we don't have a green in the resources, the equal sign cube is wild and it's being used to represent the green in the solution. So since the solution equals the value of the goal and it has all the cubes in the proper spots, none used from forbidden, all used from required, and only maximum one used from, from resources, this solution would be correct. Now, player B sided with player A. Player B also wrote a solution of red prime minus empty set. So if we look at player B's solution, red prime means all the cards that are not red. So that leaves us with these two here. If you subtract empty set from that, you subtract nothing from two, you're left with two. So this solution is incorrect because the goal is four. So the scores would be six for player A, two for player B, and two for player C. If you found this demonstration video on onsets helpful, if you like the video, please feel free to like it, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content. See you later.